Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Calavera Beach. We're working on our California coast inspired project here. We're looking at some of the stuff we built last episode. The Laguna Beach styled suburbs, which I'm really, really happy with. We expanded a lot, but this episode we're gonna be building a high school, which I've been meaning to build for a while. are working on the Calavera Beach High School uh, and after this I've realized I probably will build another high school that's a completely different style later on in the series somewhere else because this is a pretty small high school to be honest and um, yeah it's still a high school and I'm combining loads of different assets to build it as you'll see but yeah okay so what's been going on uh, well, this is the first episode in about a week, which, I mean, you know, got the weekly uploads going, except I did miss the New Windsor um, episode this weekend, this past weekend. We did get a tutorial up, though. If you haven't checked that out, definitely do. It's probably my most resourceful tutorial yet. Uh, it's got loads of information on how I scale my cities just to achieve lots of detail on a large scale, make things look really realistic without necessarily spending loads of time on detailing. I do detail this build specifically a lot just because I want this to be a center focus of the city because uh, it is near downtown and um, it's a uniquely Californian uh, styled high school, which you'll see. Uh, so uh, I'm adding a bunch of tiles here. So the, what, what I'm in, working off here is the Laguna Beach High School in Laguna Beach. So in Laguna Beach, the high school is, I mean, the buildings are all essentially white. Uh, some of them have like uh, red roofs, it looks like, but or brown roofs, but I'm not doing that because I don't really have the assets for it. I'm just going with, you know, the assets I've got and that's totally fine. Uh, but it's got a pretty large courtyard in the middle, uh, which I'm trying to sort of work off of. I make mine a lot more open than the one in Laguna Beach, but in terms of scale, I realize this is actually pretty similar to the scale of the high school in Laguna Beach. You'll see I add another whole building in a minute um, that will really expand the size of the high school here. So it's not, it doesn't end up being just as small as it is right now, because right now it does look really small for a high school. But um, yeah, I mean the, the city itself won't be massive. so. Uh, it will it'll make sense and yeah once again I probably will make another high school at some point because I have an idea of doing an old styled uh, high school with some assets that are definitely not meant for California won't really say any more about that but maybe maybe that's a build in the future yeah so the high school in Laguna Beach has got a big baseball field and a track fields that's it doubles as a football field and soccer field or whatever from what I can tell I don't understand sports so just don't even bother
All right, I'm back. So this is the area that's within the high school that I'm not as much of a fan of. The front entrance area, I will almost definitely come back and revise this. A lot of the stuff I've built so far, I haven't been a huge, huge fan of. My favorite part of the city thus far is definitely the suburban area, uh, which is probably what I like building the most in general. Um, but a lot of the... Um, Specific areas like the high school, I, I am not as much of a fan of. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like it, and I think it'll look a lot better when there are a lot more things around it, but it's got a long way to go, and I feel like I can do better. So expect me to come back and revise a lot of things. Like, literally, next episode, we're going to be tearing out the college we built in episode 2 or 3 or whatever, because I really hate that build. I, I don't think it belongs here in this project. It, it's too generic and we're gonna build another college like that college with the same storyline uh, but we will uh, do that elsewhere and it'll be a lot more theme specific because that was not um, a Calavera Beach style build um, and this is a Calavera Beach style build right here but I feel like I can still do better like you see right now I'm adding these like planters on the windows of the really generic looking school I placed um, and I'm adding vines just trying to add a unique touch um, that would make this look a lot more like what I'm trying to go for um, and yeah there are a lot of more specific builds that I want to do uh, where I'm gonna put a lot more detail into them this was one of them and I feel like I sort of failed um, I've got a long way to go uh, on this one uh, so I'm gonna come back to it. I'm not gonna destroy it like I destroyed the college, um, but you'll see, I'll come back to it another time. I want to try to scale down the builds, because remember, this project is supposed to be a small but very detailed project, Calavera Beach. So I want to start uh, scaling down the builds a little bit and really focusing on detail, because there's some specific areas I want to build that are I want to be really detailed and I want to be centerpieces of the city. And this was sort of one of them, but I didn't do enough to slow down and focus on the detail. Okay, you see this baseball field? That grass is bright. I uh, uh, I don't have another alternative though, because I want the actual texture of it to be really detailed and you know with all the specific markings a baseball field might have. But there isn't really anything on the workshop that's a little bit more subdued. That's a really bright baseball field. So that's my main complaint with the project here, the the uh, uh, high school. Uh, here I'm adding some parking, um, which I'm going to try to integrate with the environment around it. So another problem I've had is I've been trying not to add too much ve ve yeah, vegetation because uh, it's a California project, right? And I, I also want to keep my FPS up. I don't want to make the mistake I made with New Windsor, just add loads of trees everywhere. Where, you know, with that project, there's no stopping now. Um, but I found some ways to increase my FPS within that project. And right now my FPS is absurdly good within Calavera Beach compared to what I usually have uh, at this point in the project. So I'm clearly doing something right. Uh, but in terms of the trees, you know, uh, I don't know. I It doesn't look all that realistic without vegetation everywhere because California by the coast is very vegetated. It doesn't have t like trees that are towering over everything and making you completely claustrophobic like somewhere in the northeast might, but it's got a lot of trees, and it's got a lot of bushes below those trees as well, naturally growing, and obviously this project is meant to be a very natural looking project. So, you know, in these centerpiece areas I want to add a lot of detailed vegetation, but I don't really have enough good ground cover to use from the workshop that's like California, um, inspired or not inspired but like you know there's something that would work with like an arid uh, ground type like this there isn't all that much out there so if you know of anything uh just tell me 
Like if, if you're building a Californian city and do have some specific vegetation that you like to use a lot, then I definitely like to know about it just so that I could work a little bit more efficiently here. But yeah, I've got, a, once again, I've been ranting a little bit about this this video. I have some complaints with the way I've been building this project, and I don't think it's uh, detailed enough in certain areas. But overall, don't get me wrong, I'm really liking it. Uh, this is turning out to be a really awesome project. I I I've been looking forward to building something like this forever, and I'm really happy we're finally, you know, deep into the series here. Alright, so now you'll essentially see the main ground cover problem I'm talking about. So around this um, track field, I'm making this a little bit less developed than the one in Laguna Beach. The one in Laguna Beach has a lot of concrete around it and stuff like that. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make it, you know, natural around it. Problem is, there isn't really much ground cover that I can use. So essentially I just let the natural resources textures do their thing and add a couple trees here and there and it looks pretty good overall i need some ground cover though uh, i'm trying to use this mountain grass uh, but unfortunately it doesn't fit into small areas only into large areas like this and it doesn't include like bushes so i'm adding these these other um bush clusters which actually work pretty well like i like this little hill right here as you can see the problem is i can't really do that everywhere because the mountain grass is so large so I don't know Padelmo if you're watching if you want to make like a small version of the mountain grass that would be awesome because I need some ground cover like some large-scale California bush uh, ground cover because I'm looking at these hillsides here once I move into the hillside area of this series um, Springwood doesn't have as much of this problem because it's not really as you know coastal um, I guess it is coastal, but like a lot of the mountains in it are not as coastal. But like in, in Calavera Beach here, by the coast, yeah, the, the, the hillsides are really, really... Well, they're not forested. They've just got like a lot of bushes on them. And I don't really have any real solution to cover them. So, any ideas would really be great. Sorry for like whining about this for so long. Alright, so hopefully you all enjoyed. I'm sorry for just essentially ranting all video, but it happens, and I didn't really have all that much else to talk about. You see, I did place a, like, a swim club here, so that's like the, the swim team's place, and I'll also play some, like, tennis courts another time, but that, that's, that's for later. So, hopefully you all enjoyed. 
If you did, make sure to leave a like, it really does help out a ton. And subscribe if you're new around here so you get notified. Well, I mean, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever I upload a new episode of Calavera Beach. And uh, New Windsor will be back on Saturday. If all goes as plans, we're gonna be begin. Yeah, we're gonna be beginning the wharves, which I am so excited for. And um, I've got a lot of episodes backlogged, so that should be coming at you for a couple weeks. And I've been working on the cinematic video; it's absurdly cool. So I'll talk about that more in that episode. But yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Very useful stuff over there. Really awesome screenshots, stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. See you all next time.